Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Angels, 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 Protection, Divine Things. I do this reading for a place. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? Okay, so we're getting the four pentacles. Getting the four of swords, so right away you're getting four four. Um, so you could be seeing fours, but also when my cards sync up, it's spirit's way of letting me know this is a significant relationship in your life. No matter how long it lasts, there's deep lessons to be learned here. Um, tell me more about how this person feels. There's someone here who's holding back, and the four of cups. Wow, Aquarius, you can't make this up. So four four four. Oh, I got chills. Is definitely. Um, relevant for you here um there's someone here who's who's thinking a lot about this situation but they're holding back it's like they know this would be a missed opportunity here but it's right in front of their face and they're not really doing anything about it it's like they need to take that next move we're going to see their actions and then their intentions as well but it's like this person is just doing a lot of thinking here um, really holding back about the situation. They know they would miss out with you here, Aquarius, if they don't open up, but there's something here stopping them. Like, what are they mulling over? Tell me about the Four Swords, please. We have the Magician, Aries energy, and the Tower, Scorpio energy. It's like this person is trying to manifest a connection here with you. It's almost like they know it will shake things up here, though, with the Tower energy. I always say with the tower, it's like building a house on sand, right? So whatever is going on with you right now isn't working. The universe comes along and says it's time to move along to the next chapter here because you you need something that's that's going to help you expand rather than stay in the same comfort zone. This person's trying to manifest something here with you. Tell me about the magician. The king of pentacles. They want something stable here with you. It's almost like this person, yeah, they could be working on their financial stability right now. We got the nine and ten of pentacles coming back to back there. This could be someone who's really focusing on their work. So even though they're really interested in you and really inter interested in this connection, they know it would be a missed opportunity. They could be really focusing on getting their money up, maybe that promotion that they're working towards. If they're a business owner themselves, like getting their business to a certain space. They're really focusing on their money here because I feel like they want to be able to provide. The king of pentacles is very generous. Right? This is someone who's built their empire and wants to share it with others. So I feel like this person's really working on that. I also feel like you came out of nowhere for this person here. You really shook things up for them. Tell me about the tower. <laughs> I feel like this is someone who, and I laugh because it's almost like they they kind of giggle at this situation because they want to date you. They want to they want to give to you what they haven't given to anyone else before is kind of what I'm getting here. So this could be someone who's just like a workaholic, who's just, you know, live, breathes, drinks, eats, sleeps, work. And then you come along and really change things up. And they're like, wait a second, like, I want to share this. I want to share this life. This would, I'll miss out if I don't do this. I want to show Aquarius that I want to take care of them and that I'm interested in them and that I think that they're cute and that I, I want to understand them and get to know them more and open up a little bit more emotionally here. You're really shaking things up for this person here. Aquarius. Um, so yeah, look out for an Aries, a Scorpio, um, and 444. 
and 444 is the it, your angels are are looking out right so the i feel like the, even the universe is kind of guiding this person towards you here so if you haven't met them yet expect the unexpected because it's definitely going to come out of nowhere someone's going to want to date you um take you out on dates get to know you um and they're very generous they're very generous even if they don't have a lot of money they're very generous with their time they they you know they they put in the effort they really do try here um let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take towards aquarius please thank you the ace of wands so they definitely want a new beginning here with you they're definitely interested in you physically um ooh, and we got the lovers gemini energy yeah this person wants you <laughs> Page of Wands, yeah, expect a lot of flirtatious energy from this person. They could be a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini here. This person is just drawn to you here. They want to come together here with you. I mean, they might not say they love you, but it feels like this person's falling very hard for you. So even if this is something that starts off as physical, this person sees it as much deeper than that with this lover's card. They could be younger than you. They don't have to be, but they're very flirtatious. They're very interested in you. They want to know about you. They're curious. They want to know what drives you. They want to know your passions. They want to understand how you got to be the way you are here. Even if this is someone who's already in your energy, there's something that's happening here where they just suddenly are like, I want to spark things up here. So if this is someone you already are connected with, maybe this is someone who's like, you know what, let's date again. Let's, let's you know, not get into the routine of just, you know, being together, but actually like having that spark, right? I just, <laughs> it's not going to apply for everyone, but there could be a, a trip to the local, um, you know, adult store where you find new things to explore, right? That's not gonna resonate with everyone, so only take it if it does, but it came through for a reason here. This person is very, very curious about you. Um, but not only that, they see this as something very deep with the lover's energy here. So expect a message from this person for sure. Um, and this person is very physically attracted to you, so I feel like you're gonna catch them staring at you, you know, they might find excuses to like, <laughs> be closer to you physically whenever you go on a date or something like that i'm just seeing like people go mini golfing right and maybe coming up behind you and showing you how to do it um things like that like i feel like this person or they might just like brush your shoulder like touch your touch your shoulder touch your knee a lot if you're on a date right like i feel like this person's going to be very um like very touchy they're very interested in that but it's deeper than that with this lover's card so expect them definitely to reach out here um, is there anything else? Look at that. The fool. They're taking a leap of faith towards you. And I'm seeing the ace of swords at the bottom. This person's taking a leap of faith. Heavy Aries energy. They're coming on towards you. They're taking, they're taking, they're just going for it. So this could be someone who's already in your energy. Or again, if you're already connected with, or sorry, someone who's not in your energy and comes and takes this leap of faith out of nowhere. Or if you're already connected with this person, I feel like this is them taking a leap of faith to try something new, to do things differently. So like spark things up between the two of you, right? I just feel like there's this heavy, like it feels new, even if it if it's not new. Take it as it resonates, because for some of you it will be. But um, this person's taking this leap of faith towards you here. Yeah, they're coming for you. They're definitely going to do things differently here. Beautiful. What is this person's intentions with Aquarius? What is this person's intentions? The Three of Wands. The Hierophant. This person can see a future here with you. Mm -hmm. They can see a future. They could be a Taurus. They can see a future here with you. They see higher level of commitment. They want you and this. I feel like this is someone who's very grounded themselves. So even though they're very flirtatious and very passionate and very sexual, this is someone who also wants something stable, right? They're not looking for a fling. I feel like this is someone who wants long term. They want commitment here. Right, so it's funny because I'm also, and I don't usually get this with the Hierophant, I, this could be someone who in their work or to the outside world, they're very proper, they very like by the books, um, but then when they're alone with you, it's very different. Um, but this person sees a future here with you and they see commitment here with you. It looks good here, Aquarius. This person, this person's either trying to spark things up if you already are with them, or this is someone new who's like, okay, I'm just going to take this leap of faith. Not only am I super attracted to them, but this is deeper and I want commitment with this person, with Aquarius. 
So they could be Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, Taurus energy. Also Leo, Sagittarius is here and a little bit of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and 444, look out for fours. I'll post a link down below for meanings of angel numbers. But this looks good. This person wants a future here with you. Is there anything else for their intentions? Thank you. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to invest. This person wants to, to plant the seeds now, to get things going now. They're here for the long term, right? The Seven of Pentacles is like, I'm taking care of my, uh, of my responsibilities now so that in the long term, they, they... This could also be an investor I just got. Someone could invest so they know that the value of putting investing into things for the long-term value of them the long-term uh reward of them but they, they so they could do that with their money physically but i also feel like they want to invest in this relationship they see this future here with you looks really good aquarius really really good beautiful just feel drawn to this other deck usually um there's that hierophant again usually that was a really bad shuffle usually it's because there's cards on the board that need to come out again but let's see sometimes the pictures on this deck help the messages come through but either way i just feel drawn so let's see what is the potential outcome between aquarius and this person please spirit thank you for the messages so far Whew. i hope the camera caught that flying up look at this nine of cups wish fulfillment dream come true emotional happiness here right look how happy that that person is so happy they took a leave of faith it's like a treasure box right but but with the cups it's all about the emo it feels emotionally fulfilling right it's not just about oh this person has money or we have really good physical times together it's like emotionally fulfilling as well all of that's there but i feel like it's deeper than that we have the king of swords we have the page of wands again I feel like this could be your energy here, um, Aquarius. I feel like this person, because they could be younger or just very, very flirtatious, you could kind of wonder about them. You could kind of like feel a little, um, like you kind of have to keep your distance a little bit. Even though this is going really well, you could kind of feel like, what's the catch, right? So maybe just an opportunity to reflect on like, why do I feel like there has to be a catch, right? And if there is a catch, how will I know? right these are those are deeper questions instead of just being like i think there could be a catch the end those deeper questions could be useful um it doesn't have to be it could be this person it could be that they're a little bit detached here but it just feels like there's a lot of flirting going along there's a lot going on there's a lot of emotional fulfillment it feels really good it feels lighthearted. um it feels fun but there could be this energy of like let me just be sure let me just i'm not gonna completely just go for this let me like use my mind as well to make sure that this is for real anything else for the potential thank you we have the two of, yeah the two of swords so indecision right there could be a bit of indecision here just feeling like is this for real is this um is this person serious right it tried to it almost flipped i don't know if you saw that but i believe it was the ten of pentacles but i don't we have the seven of cups and the devil I just feel like there's a fear here. There's a fear that other options could be involved. Tell me about the devil and the seven of cups. The five of wands, yeah. There, okay, so there could be, tell me more about the devil and the seven of cups and the five of wands. I feel like this could be an internal fear with that devil card. Could be, Cap, it's a Capricorn energy. Could be a fear of other people being involved, right? Um, the three of pentacles the six of pentacles the ace of swords yeah i just feel like is there there's a fear of are they telling the truth right all this energy effort teamwork that they're putting into me and this connection is it real right because i think like this person is a very practical person um their love language could be acts of service right they will show you um what they you know what, that they want this and that they want to work together here with you but i feel like there's fear here this devil to me is representing fear is there other people is there competition is there other options involved right so the devil is a blockage we all we all experience this in some way sometimes it's a mental blockage like fear of of being let down sometimes it's an addiction right um to, to a substance to a relationship to a job to material things right like we all experience the devil in some way shape or form it's about overcoming that blockage right so i do feel that because it's not tell me about the seven of cups like it's more thank you 
the four of cups and the ten of cups right like it's not that there's other people it's just is this for real is this the really happily that ever after that i think it's going to be am i missing out on this beautiful opportunity right in front of me or right behind me i guess or is this person tricking me right and we've all been through things that could make us feel like people could be tricking us people could be un you know deceptive and, and untruthful but it feels like it's more above the mind here. It feels like, is this person telling the truth? Is all the effort they're putting into me for real? And is it just me, right? But it's not coming up that there's other people involved here. It just comes up that, I mean, this could be another deeper reflection question. Like, do I deserve, do I truly feel like I deserve this happily ever after? And most people say, of course I do. Of course I deserve it. But then if it's right in front of you and this person is giving you no reason to think otherwise and then your mind just starts to play tricks on you because if you look at it, this person is just being controlled by, by this, this mind, their own mind, right? Um, I just feel like lately with the readings, especially the Libra one I just said before, there's an opportunity to really deeply reflect on our own patterns, our own thoughts beliefs or and a belief is just a thought that's thought over and over and over again right so if we believe that the that people can hurt us of course they can but if there's something right in front of us that's showing us otherwise but we still believe they can hurt us then that that's now our belief that we have to kind of manage we have to work with right it's not it doesn't feel like this person's doing anything they're very flirtatious they could be younger they could be a little immature at times right but they see higher level of commitment they want to invest in this and this is a significant relationship so this could be a relationship where it's teaching you how to trust again right to take that leap of faith so there could be some arguments you know some a little bit of drama coming up but it honestly feels like it's based to do with the internal fear not an external party here so again, that could be you, Libra. If you're a cross watcher, you could feel like that's your scenario. It could be a bit of this person too. I'm not saying it's all you. It could be both of you. Energy is fluid, right? You could be sharing that same energy. Um, take it as it resonates here, but that's how it's coming through to me. Let's see. Um, oh, thank you. How will Libra, or Libra, sorry. You could be dealing with Libra. Aquarius, how will Aquarius know who this person is? Three of Swords. How will Aquarius know who this person is? The King of Cups. It just feels like... And then we have Death. So this could... this could My cards that usually indicate someone from the past are not here. There could have been a painful ending before with this person, right? Some sort of heartbreak here. I feel like this person loves deeply with that king of cups but they have a hard time maybe saying it in the right way because again there's a lot of uh generosity here with maybe material things and a lot of passion a lot of fire energy but with the cups and opening up and being emotional this person could struggle with that right so this person could be heartbroken themselves how will aquarius know who this is this could be someone who's very heartbroken who they're the one who is kind of struggling with the missed opportunity Right? Because that came out in their feelings as well. They could be a Scorpio. Any other indicator for who this is? Who is so this could be someone who's coming from heartbreak. The Empress. Could be a Taurus. So this could be someone who um, is very much in their feminine energy. Doesn't mean they have to be a female. Someone who uh, lets people in, right? Is and I feel like is very charismatic, very well liked. So there could be almost like a, how do I put that? It's almost like they, they're really good at hiding pain is how I'm going to put it. Mm -hmm. There could be a pregnancy involved for some of you. That's not going to resonate with everyone. Anything else for how, thank you. Justice, Libra energy. They could, be, they could be involved with the law somehow. They could be going through something legal. They could have gone through some sort of uh, heartbreak with an empress energy, so perhaps a feminine energy, a, a motherly energy. Perhaps they just went through something with like someone they have children with. Um, and legally, they're still trying, like that, that's done. Like there's an ending here. There's a transformation here. Um, but So this could be them that's, that's struggling with this because they just went through a heartbreak, right? 
Take it as it resonates. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but let's see if there's any hidden messages for you here, Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Thank you for the messages so far, Spirit. Thank you. Just being near you is intoxicating. Mm -hmm. That's that lover's energy. This person is just drawn to you here. You were the best thing in my life. So if you did have history with this person, um, or just feel like you currently are what's really good in their life right now, I am becoming a better person. So again, this person, I feel um, if they're aware of their blockages, of their mental you know, patterns, beliefs, they're definitely working on it. Um, I feel overwhelmed. I'm drowning in my own thoughts. Yeah. And then the situation has become very difficult for me to manage mentally. It is draining me. So that could even be what they're going through here. Some sort of heartbreak here. Um, I wish I had treated you better. So take that if it resonates. Any other messages for Aquarius? They said nope. Okay. Just I pull one from here. Thank you. We have shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany, transformation. So there's that tower energy. Libra got similar um, energies. If you're dealing with a Libra, Libra in your chart, that could be, uh, there could be a message in there for you. We do have the runner, fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. So that could be the blockage here too, right? That subconsciously running away from something that is actually really good because there's this fear of, am I good enough? Or is this person going to leave me, right? I am seeing the chaser, fear of abandonment. This could be twin flame, doesn't have to be, but those two cards did, did show up back to back. Look at that, Aquarius. We do have love. Unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selflessness. There is true love here with that lover's card, with that nine of cups, with that king of cups. Like this person loves deeply. They want commitment here with you. Messages for Aquarius, please. Thank you. We have Oracle. Wait for important information. So there could be a... a like spirits asking you to maybe wait, especially if they are dealing with something legal here right now or going through some sort of ending, some sort of separation. There could be more information that will help you understand the situation. Um, so I feel like patience is, is needed here as well. Let's see. Thank you. We have remain positive. Mm -hmm. So spirits really asking you to um, keep that positive energy up here, Aquarius. Peaceful resolution. So, that, yeah, I feel like if there is an ending going on with this person, or if this is like, it's gonna, it's gonna end well. Like it could seem really chaotic right now, but there will be a balance here, especially if it's a legal situation. Messages for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Oh, okay, thank you. You and your loved ones are safe, beautiful. So all is well. And then we have adjustments are required, which I feel like are being, are happening. They're being made to happen. Messages for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Okay. So it landed like this, um, which is also what happened in the Libra reading. So I'll read the upright um, relationship message, but I'll also read the protection message. But it says time for a nap, number 24. So there's another four for you as well. Um, could also be seeing twos. Or even sixes, two plus four, but let's see, 24. When it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's good to take this time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force anything now. Allow things to flow naturally and a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. Patience is the key to your heart's desire right now. Withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. So we did get adjustments are required and then you also got um, peaceful resolution, remain positive, and then the oracle from, uh, where did that card go? I don't want to spend too much time looking for it, but wait for information, right? Like trust and be patient, there it is. Trust and be patient here. So what I feel like is also coming through. 
Um, okay, we also got, you are a human being, not a human doing. Is it possible you're suffering from workaholism? That one was coming through, so it could be this person. It could be you. Could you be the one who thinks it's your job to save everyone, to be there for everyone, and to go, go, go until you can barely see straight? You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people and projects, but now you are an empty well and have no reserves for others or for yourself. Don't let your ego keep you going full speed when your body and your spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and take a break. If you don't, the appearance of this card could portend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You will feel like a new person if you take that break. Do it now. So strong message from spirit there as well, Aquarius. So let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, um, numbers you've been seeing, uh, birth dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So HB, as soon as I would pick these up, HB was really standing out for me. But we also have J, H again, N, M, W, whoops, the number seven and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated for you, Aquarius. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy, love and light.